Donald, how did you even miss that? You're so bad at foosball. I bet you can't even hit the ball if it was standing right in front of you. And the score is tied up at nine and east. Next team to score is the winner. I'll show them. Oh, oh and the, the black, black team is spectacularly taking control of the ball. The defense, defense passes, passes the ball up to the midfield. The midfield dribbles it around and sends it to the forwards. The right forward slides it down to Donald Foos down the middle. He has another shot to win the game. You will never be good at this game. Absolutely terrible. We even allowed to step foot on this field. Remember the prophecy, Donald. Week four, nothing much different is really happening. So in quarantine, I kind of just have to show you guys pretty much all the same things that I do in the week. But this Saturday is my birthday, so I'm going to be vlogging that. And that's pretty much all I'm doing this week. So enjoy. All right, now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the vlogs, the update on my Java coding. I think we should just call it boring Java coding from now on. I'm going to make a title screen. This week we're continuing our cryptography learning and we're now learning about the Visionaire Cipher. So the Visionaire Cipher was basically invented by some French dudes and French cryptographer in the 16th century. And it was actually thought to be like unbreakable for a while, but now with the use of computers, it can be broken pretty easily. So the Visionaire Cipher is basically like the Caesar Cipher on steroids where the key is, instead of being one number, it's actually an array of numbers. And that array of numbers can be represented by a single word. So with the Visionaire Cipher, we're gonna start off with our message, message to test, and the key, which is this time a word, is gonna be dice. Now the next step is to continuously write the key as long as the message length. So you're gonna write dice, 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 all like, so the, the first the first character corresponds to like this D, and you're just basically, basically gonna continue writing the key all the way down the message. Each letter in the key is basically gonna represent a number to make an array of numbers. So each letter is the index in the alphabet. So if A is at zero, then D will start at three, I will be eight, C will be two, and E will be four. Then you're gonna write all these numbers all the way along at the bottom so that each letter in the original message corresponds to your new number according to your uh, key that was continuously written. And so now we're going to be using the same shifting technique with the Caesar cipher, and we're going to be, we're going to be using each uh, number at the bottom. So each uh, character in the original message is going to correspond to its number at the bottom. So the letter M will um, shift three letters forward. So it'll go M to N, O, P. So then it would be letter P would be the new mess would be the new letter new character in this place. So after computing all the shifted characters, this would be the encrypted message. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 